Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Chief Parker's Arcade, where I am going to do a little video here about FX3 Pinball. And I'm going to start out by telling you that, uh, oh, before I even started really promoting this channel, I've uh, been running tournaments on FX3. And it's kind of fun. You have to own the tables in order to play in the tournament. I'll get into more about that here in a minute, but uh, if there's enough people interested, uh, I'm ending a season right now. And if enough people are interested, and leave comments if you are, uh, I'll continue doing the tournaments. There's a little bit of work involved, but I don't mind doing it as long as I got interest in it. And the reason I'm doing this video is, is because I think there's a misconception, or at least uh, I may be wrong, but I assume there's a misconception that you have to have a V-pin cabinet in order to participate in this or to really enjoy this pinball. And that's why I'm going to talk to you about FX3 in Steam. So let me go over here to the screen. I'm on Steam's website, store.steampower.com. You can get an account with them with basically an email and a password. It doesn't cost you anything. You just sign up. It's an online gaming service. Now, let me get this out of the way because I'll forget. It's online, but when you download the software and download these tables, once you buy them, uh, you don't have to be online to play them. I think it's you got to go online every now and then to uh, tell it that you've got the rights to the game or something to let it play. Kind of like those protection rights are on music and stuff, but... But to actually play the game, you're playing them locally. So even if you've got a bad internet connection, uh, that doesn't matter. And as far as the PC, I'm just running a basic PC. Now, on Steam, under FX3, you can do your own research, and it'll tell you uh, what the minimum requirements are for this. But I'm letting you know you don't need a cabinet. And what I'm doing is I'm running right now. I, I have a couple cabinets, but I've got this all... I'm going to have this all set up offline here when I do this, and there's a reason for that. It's, I don't want to bore you with, but I'm already running a tournament on there right now, so if I go online, it could botch that up, and it botches up my settings on the cabinet when I go into non-cabinet mode online, so I'm just going to play these offline. But I'm going to let you know, so you're going to see what it looks like to play them offline. Uh, all you need is an Xbox controller, one screen, landscape mode, you can do portrait mode if you want, but I'm just letting you know for the basic computer user, uh, if you don't have an Xbox controller, you can use a keyboard. You can get a cheap knockoff Xbox controller, Amazon, I don't know, 10, 15 bucks, Amazon, Micro Center, wherever you want to get them, GameStop. I don't know, I don't promote any of them, I'm just saying that's where you can get them. So, to remember what I was at, now, if, if you eventually get a cabinet, then you can uh, play these on your cabinet. Uh, you have to get a cabinet code from Zen Studios. You send them a picture. I don't know if anybody has ever been denied when you send them a picture of your cabinet to prove to you you got a cabinet and they send you a code, which I don't need to explain to you now. Uh, I'll help you with that if you get a cabinet later. I'm just trying to let the people know that run Windows 10, and this is basically set up for Windows 10. You can get on Steam and get them for different platforms, but I believe that, that when you play in the tournaments, you got to be playing this version to compete on what we're doing because we're all using Windows 10. So anyway, you're going to install. Uh, you're going to get on Steam. You're going to get an account. You're going to install install Steam software. You're going to install FX3 software. To join Steam is free. The software for FX3 is free. It even comes with one game. Um, I believe it comes with Sorcerer's Lair, but don't just quote me on that. I know it does come with one. And then when you want to buy additional, and, and to play in a tournament, you have to own the table. So when I set up tables, I typically try to look on Steam and find out what's on sale. So if you have to buy it, Oh, my computer's always got to tell me something. I don't want to know that right now. I hate about Windows 10. Okay. <laughs> you can see right now some of these bundles are on sale. 
Uh, Star Wars Pinball Season 1 Bundle, 73% off, $8.13. Yeah, I can hit bundle information here to tell you. I don't know, there's either two or three. Some of them got four tables per bundle. You'll just have to do that research on your own. But anyway, you get this stuff. Again, you can get started right now for absolutely free. Uh, and get one table going on your computer. Let me get over here, my mouse over here to where I can launch FX3. Here we go. Got my Xbox controller out here. Zen Studios. Press A to continue. I'm going to hit no thanks. I don't want to start the game I started last time. I hit go to single player. Here's all my tables. Again, I've bought pretty much all of them. Sorcerer's Lair is the one I believe that comes with this. So I'm just going to show you. Yeah, you know what? Before I do that, let me show you something else. Let's go. Let's go back out of this. Main menu. Let's go over here to options. I want to show you something here. Audio. You manipulate through here with your uh, Video shift keys controls. and your control keys. Here's your controls for a keyboard. You can adjust them yourself. Self-explanatory, left flipper left, shift, right flipper right shift, ball launch enter, you can read all that. Uh, if you hit your control key, it jumps you over to touch control and Xbox One controller. So see, basically I've set it up so my uh, flippers on the right and left trigger. Manual ball launches the right stick, uh, auto launches uh, A button, view is X. Uh, again, I won't spend a lot of time on that. If you have problems with that, uh, leave a comment and I'll help you out with it. But pretty self-explanatory. Escape menu. out of that. Go back over here to single player. There's also a cabinet mode up there. There's tournaments. I can't get on tournaments right now because I'm offline. But uh, here's all your tables. All the tables that I've got. And I just kind of scroll through those a little bit. And we'll pick a table here. Could have swore I saw Sorcerer's Lair. There it is. Sorcerer's Lair. Single player and hot seat now. Single player. Single player classic. That just plays a classic game versus a lot of the wizard powers and stuff you got. Then there's Hot Seat. Hot Seat is for if up to four players. So you can play up to four players on this. Again, I'm in landscape mode on my PC with an Xbox controller and a keypad. Let's hit single player. Your DMD and your scoring, start a new game, is in the upper left-hand corner of your play field there. You let it sit here, it kind of gives you a little guide of the table, floats you around, lets you see everything that's on the table. Hit your A button, that gets you started now. Once you've hit your A button, you can hit your X button and see. Upper left corner, what you're going to be focusing on right now. View 2, view 3, view 4, view 5, view 6, view 7, view 0. View 1, I like View 1. Some, most people seem to like View 1 or View 1 W, View 1 wide. But you got all these views, this is all the options you got with this. Press the A button, launches. Triggers are the flippers. Here we go, we're up and running. FX3, standalone on your system. And again, if you have Pinball Emporium, you ever get a cabinet and you do, do Pinball Emporium, and I, I know it works, you can set up FX3 within Pinball Emporium, and I think you can on Popper, but don't quote me on that. I've heard that you can, but I don't have Popper. But I know you can within uh, Pinball Emporium, you can actually look them up and follow their tutorial on how to set this up, along with your... Uh, future pinball and your uh, visual pinball some great sound effects 
Great graphics. And again, you can be playing this one right now. All you got to do is uh, set this up. And I do believe Sorcerer's Lair is the one that comes with it at no cost. So if enough people put in the comments or let me know from uh, people from my past tournaments, people uh, that are on my uh, channel here that uh, have not played before, I'll start setting up a... I'll, uh, Probably take a little break over the holidays, but after the holidays, I'll probably set up some tournaments. And get this. Once you have this, you can set up your own tournaments. You could download this and have Sorcerer's Lair or whatever comes with it for free and set up a tournament only for tables you own, but you can set up a table a tournament right away. Then just advertise it and have people. You can put a password on it. Uh, Okay, it says I got a local high score. I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, let me escape out of this. Single player results. Didn't do that hot, but I was more just trying to show you. Congratulations. Single player and how this works. My collection, main menu. So there you go. Steam. FX3. No cost to join. No cost to download the app or the program, FX3. And then it comes with a table. And then you can get your others. Right now, and I'm sure through the holiday season, I think some of these are saying they're ending as of me shooting this video here in just a little bit. Uh, probably should have got this out earlier. But if you look back, if they end today, they'll start again tomorrow. If they don't start tomorrow, it'll be day after tomorrow. I mean, they, they're constantly on sale. So, and I never usually try not to pick a tournament that has a table on it that's not on sale. So, there you go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content, let me come back here to you. There I am. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you got any comments or questions. And also, let me know if you're interested. Because uh, the first season of pinball... And, and you get a trophy. I provide a little trophy if you're the winner. And it, I, I kind of somewhat handicap the thing, too, through the season. So everybody's got a chance to get in the playoffs. And I'll get into that more later if I decide to set up another tournament. Which I'm sure I will. We get enough people that say they're interested. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you like the content, consider subscribing. Have a good day, and we'll see you later.